always a new book review, a new, new look. This uh, it is time to look at the Iron Hands, the Codex supplement uh, for the Iron Hands. So this is a codex that you need the Space Marines to play with. Uh, as I like to collect the books for reading, I just uh, um, took the books as well. Um, just mainly for me for the reading of the fluff. I, I always like to enjoy this part. And I want to share with you what is the content. I will, I'm not expecting to play Iron Hands in particular, uh, although they do look quite um, good. Uh, on the other side, to be fair, my Space Marines are painted on my own scheme, so I can apply, I can play with any codex that I want in the, the end, because they are not, uh, yeah, the, the iconography and everything is quite neutral. Although I collect them thinking on Dark Angels. And, uh, in the past, okay. So I will say that are more um, common for dark angels. Maybe to play them as uh, white scars, or maybe as um, having more than this. But anyway, if one day I want to play as Iron Hands, here I have the rules as well. Okay. Uh, you can see that the, the structure of the book is going to be like the all the other two supplements. We already have a look. We are going to have a long part of. Uh, well, it's not the, it's a, it's a thin book, eh? It's not a super. Uh, these are the small codexes. It's a 64 pages, same number of pages as the Warcry supplement, okay? But this is a hardcover, and uh, we will have much more um, background. And then at the end we have the rules. So also we have we we have some nice pictures of the army, and we will have also nice artwork. So we start with the. Uh, chapter organization and all the background, all the different companies. You will have a page for each company with a lot of explanation of how they have introduced the the primaries marines in the that. And then we have a part of um, chapter command and the histories of the Iron Hands, so all the big battle, battles and things that they have done, uh, the fate of the Gorgon, right? I think is we all know that the Ferrus Magnus was killed by Fulgrim uh, or by the demon the demon inside the Fulgrim. Okay, we have here the seism and the so we have uh, yeah, a lot of the background and the main battles and the main things and then we have also the chronological thing of the Iron Hands. Okay, and then here we have even more uh, Go on here, mix this is the realize of that. This we just have here this thing, okay. It's interesting. This part, uh, the Iron Father uh, Malakan Pharaohs. I think this, okay. So, these are yeah, the Iron Hands are the ones that are the most mechanized ones, the ones that are looking for uh, the most advanced in, in mechanics and in weapons. They are forgers and they are also um, quite linked to the Omnisia, right, to the Mechanicum. So this way they will have quite a good uh, arsenal of weapons and vehicles. Here we see an example of an army. This is the Iron Father Pharos. I don't know if this uh, Iron Fire Fairus is a single model with a ball pistol, a Gorgon Wrath, uh, a Harrow Hand, two Servo Hands, and you can only include one of these models in your army. So this is one guy of this. So looks quite amazing. The Gorgon Wrath is a heavy 3, strength 5, and uh, minus 2 IP to damage, so it's a strong uh, heavy bolter. Okay, and then the Harohan, it's uh, plus 3 strength, minus 2, 2. And the Sebrohan is um, by 2, minus 2, 3. When the bearer fights, mm, no more than one attack can be made with each servo arm. When resolving an attack made by this weapon, subtract so 1 to the hit roll. He has 7 attacks, so you can do 2 attacks with the servo, have 2 servo hands or 1 servo hand. Two servo arms, so he can, you can do two attacks with servo arms, and then there's five attacks with the axe, right? With the harrow, and so 
yeah, he can uh, at the start of your shooting phase you can select one friendly iron hands unit that is within three inches of this model the models in the selected unit have ballistic skill 2 plus until the end of the phase so this is super interesting you increase the precision of one of your um, units very nicely he, of course he has angel of death he has the master of the forge when this unit repairs a vehicle model using the blessing of omniscia uh, ability the vehicle model regains three lost wounds instead of the three so it's a uh, it's very efficient repairing when this model uh, will lose a wound roll at the six on five plus is no loss or so have feel no pain five uh, model in friendly iron hands units within uh, sorry rights of the tempering model in friendly iron hands units have five plus in vulnerable while uh, the unit is within six inches Okay, so you give uh, also an invulnerable safe around him, a bubble of invulnerable safe. So it's a nice booster and it's also quite strong in close combat. So it's very, it's a very interesting character. At the end of your uh, movement phase, this model can repair one friendly Ironham vehicle uh, model within one inch of it. That model regains the feel of wood. So you can repair. Uh, another vehicle so you can repair two times no sorry he can repair one time with the blessing of tendency i have played wrong so the other one so you so uh, yeah here's the normal blessing of tendency but you repair three instead of these three okay so he can give back it's quite reliable and it's costing 110 points okay fixed equipment then here we will have the sons of gorgon we have um the what is called the, the, the abilities that goes on top of all the abilities in the space marines okay and then we have uh, the warlord traits that you can choose so you have new warlord traits for them and uh, the thing is interesting is that the iron fighter pharaohs uh, is a student of the history so uh, when this warlord consolidates they can move up to six inches of three, of three and do not have to end his move closer so you, he can go away right so he's not and i guess that's what's in use of me i don't have um yeah you have i don't, i have not read all, all this i just received the book today but uh, yeah you have your own warlord traits uh you have also the relics of the medusa and you have the special issue war gear as in the previous books and then you have your own stratagems so this is a book that will make the space marines very resilient okay so the the these guys will be specialized in um, being more resilient and also in being uh, more precise in the shooting and let me see if you can see some the main rules so while the devastator doctrine is active model with this ability don't suffer the penalty for moving and firing heavy weapons right and remember that um, they have they have feel no pain and um, this chapter from the space marines and then they talk about the successor chapter okay warlord trade you can choose from there the relics the stratagems And then the the device is there new I have not look at the new CK powers so they should have new CK powers as well somewhere. I miss this one. Here we have the techno massing, okay? So well, let's just look one random number five, reforge as a has a warp charge of five. If manifested select one iron hands vehicle within three inches. So you can repair two times if you have a a a, a cycle on vehicles so it's, you can give back a lot of wounds to vehicles and then we have the machine the machine flames for example that has a warp uh, charge of six if manifested you select one enemy vehicle unit within 18 inches of uh, invisible to the cycle that you suffer t3 mortal wounds you can uh, then select uh, one other enemy vehicle that is within six inches of that vehicle 
you made uh, when this power was manifested, roll a d6 for each mortal wound that vehicle unit suffer and uh, for uh, each 3 plus the selected unit suffer. So, so imagine that you do this 3, you do 2 wounds on the target vehicle, so then you roll 2 more dice for the next vehicle, on 3 you make another additional mortal wounds to the next vehicle, so it's a, um, a stronger uh, Way, uh, way to be more efficient making mortal wounds to the enemy vehicles. So, and you have, uh, they are, uh, as I said, it's a, they increase the resiliency of the marines and they also increase the precision and the, uh, and the weapons of, of the marines, right? So this is what you have in the iron hand. So, yeah, this is a short, uh, sorry, I have not, I did not have time to look in detail all the rules. But uh, here, what I wanted to share with you is what you can find in the book, uh, so you can know if this book is interesting or not for you. So yeah, that's all for now. Please give a like if you have liked this video. Share if you think other thing, other people can get interested on in the content of this book. And as, and as usual, thanks all for watching, and see you again later. Bye.